Hello, y'all. How you doing? What up, though? So, listen. I got a quick word about a dream I had last night. And I'm going to make this real quick because I got about 11 minutes left on my lunch. And um, I recorded the video. I didn't care for it. And I wasn't going to record it. I was like, I don't need to do that. And then I just still feel like the Lord wants me to sh record this and share. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, last night I had a dream. Pretty short dream. And in this dream, I had a friend who I was, um, I wouldn't say that we were dating, but we were friends. So we were hanging out from time to time, put it that way. And the guy in the dream that was my, um, my love interest, he wasn't, I, don't know, I guess we can call him a love interest, was DeVal Ellis. If some of you all know who DeVal is, he plays, uh, he's an actor. He plays on like some Tyler Perry shows. Um, you may see him on social media with his wife and um, her name is Kadeem. I think that's her name, Kadeem. He calls her Kay. But anyway, the, he's kind of an influencer, actor, and actor. He used to be an NFL uh, football player, all that case, right? So in this dream, I knew that he was married, but he was separated. But yet he was still married. And we ended up at his parents' house, and he was doing whatever at his parents' house. And I honestly feel like when I think back on the dream, I feel like he was living this double life like... You know, he came to his parents' house to maybe take a shower, change his clothes, put on some. I, I remember him putting on the jacket. Like, it wasn't the jacket that we came here with. I feel like we went to the house and he was getting some things, changing clothes. I can't remember all those details, but I do remember him introducing me to his mother. She wasn't there when we got there, but she did come in later. And I was sitting on the couch and he introduced me to his mother. And that was pretty much it. We didn't share any other words other than that. So then we were preparing to leave. And I remember saying to him, I don't want your mama thinking I'm your side chick. And his response to me was like, for real, you you going to do that right now? You really going to want to have this conversation right now? And then my alarm went off and I woke up. And so when I woke up, I was sitting there and I was thinking, you know, as I'm getting ready to go to the gym and I'm like, Lord, what was that about? Like that was, it was, it seemed so real, but it was, I think because I've been in a situation very similar to in that instance, in the instance that initially well i didn't know he was married he didn't tell me he was married because he was married but they have been living separate lives for years and so to him he felt like oh we not married you are married you got a paper that's your wife she your wife on paper she your wife in the eyes of the lord she your wife in the eyes of the state that's your wife you know everybody says it's just the paper until it ain't it's just the paper until you end up in the hospital and need something done and who call the shots? Your wife. It's just the paper until you pass away and you done been um, dealing with this person for years and years and you not even listed in the obituary. Or in some instances I've seen where people are listed in obituary where maybe the guy wasn't married but he had this long-term companionship with somebody and you listed in the obituary as his long-term companion. Are you the dog? <laughs> Are we talking about the dog or the woman who was there taking care of him when he was sick and down and out and on his last days on his deathbed? But, let, but lo and behold, you don't have a, a marriage certificate, so you're just a friend and his mom and his siblings and whoever else come in and call all the shots and write the obituary and do everything else and they list you as his longtime companion. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. So in the, in the dream, I said to him, I don't want... I don't want your mama thinking I'm your side chick. When in actuality, that's exactly who and what you are. If this man or woman, if you are a man and you're seeing this, is married, regardless if they separated, they're in the process of a divorce, whatever the case may be, if they are married legally and they don't have a divorce decree, then they are still married and you are technically a side piece, side chick, side dude, whatever the case you may want to call it. You cannot be in a relationship with a married person. Even if you title it a relationship, that's my man. No, that's her husband. That's my woman. No, that's, her, that's his wife. And so as I was sitting here thinking about, Lord, what, what am I going to read? I was going to read something. Um, that, that dream came back to me. And then after the Lord brought that dream back to me, he brought back a scripture that I saw online this morning. And I went to find it. And when she uh, posted the scripture, it was dealing with something else. But I think it applies to this, too, because the Lord brought it back to me at this instance. And it says, do not give that which is holy to dogs and do not throw your pearls before pigs, for they will trample them under their feet and turn and tear you to pieces. Matthew 7 and 6. That was the Amplified version. I'm going to give it to you in one. 
Let me give it to you in the message version. Okay, we do that, Lord. Let's do that. Let's look at it in the message version. Matthew 7. Y'all, you are more valuable than to be somebody's side piece. Somebody's uh, sneaky link, I think is what they call it nowadays. I ain't never, I didn't even know what that was. Um, God laid down his life for you. And he says that you are more valuable to him than any of that other stuff. Don't discount who you are. And if you don't believe that you are valuable and that you are worthy, then you need to go sit with the Father and allow him to love on you. Allow him to show you who you are. Allow him to teach you who he created you to be. Because he created each one of us with a purpose and a plan. He said he has, uh, he has, um, he does not have plan. He has plans to prosper you, to give you hope and the future. That's what it says in Jeremiah. And we've all heard that before time and time again. So this is what it says in Matthew 7, 6, the message translation. Don't be flipped with the sacred. Banter and silliness give no honor to God. Don't be silly. Like they talk about them women, them silly women, and I think it's in Timothy or somewhere about the silly women in the last days. Banter and silliness give no honor to God. Don't reduce my um, don't reduce holy mysteries to slogans and and trying to be relevant. You'll only be cute and inviting sacrilege. Don't do that in trying to be relevant. Trying to be, you know. Um, keep up with what society tells us is okay. What society tells us is normal. What culture says for today. Rely on what the word of God says for you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. The, the Lord Jesus Christ laid down his life for you and he desires for you to have more. I'm just checking my clock. He desires for you to have more because you are more. He calls you more. He calls you. Let's go over here. First Peter 2 and 9. Let me say who, who he says you are. This is, who God, this is what God says about you. You are chosen people, royal priests, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession. You were chosen to tell about the wonderful acts of God who called you out of darkness and to his wonderful light. At some time in the past, you may have lived like those people, but no longer do you live like them. He has called you out. You are chosen. You are a royal priest to the holy nation, chosen generation. God calls you royalty. So now it's time for you to start treating yourself as such royalty. Don't um, disgrace yourself or allow yourself to be somebody's side chick, side dude. Because if they are married, they are married, that's exactly what you are. You cannot be in a relationship. You can't be engaged. How are you engaged to a man who got a wife? I don't care if he is going through a divorce. The divorce ain't final yet. Let him finish handling his, his dealings. Let him take time to heal from that. Don't be the rebound chick or whatever the case may be. Don't allow that to happen to you. Don't allow you to be um, defiled in that way. So in that dream, I remember thinking, and you see how my mom was thinking. I don't want your mama thinking I'm your side chick. That's exactly who she think you are. Because I... I, my son, I already know, if you, and this is not even married, if you are dating someone seriously, don't think you about to bring other people around. We don't, I don't do that here. I don't entertain that foolishness. And ain't no way you're going to have a whole wife and then you bring other chicks over or other people around my house because you ain't, can't take them to your house. Like, I'm not that one. Like, my son, I already know, and he's 25, he'll be 26, and he ain't married or anything like that. But he already know because that's the standard and the boundary I've set for him. Like, dude, we don't get down like that. Not over here. Not over here. So it's one thing when you don't know, but once God reveals it to you and you do know, remove yourself from that situation. Allow them to tend to the things that they need to tend to and handle their business. And then if that's who God says or God brings you all back together, whatever the case may be, then that is what it is. But right now, you, you can't. You, you can't be in a relationship. You shouldn't even desire to be in a relationship with somebody who has a whole wife. Somebody who has a whole husband. Because that's exactly what you are, a side chick. I said, I don't want your mama thinking I'm your side chick. That's exactly how she looking at you as. Even when you think because you met the mama, you somebody special. Then people, then look. Because he took you around the family, you somebody special. Mm-mm. She he didn't been had somebody over there different last week at the cookout before you and she didn't had a different guy over there at the cookout before you. Y'all, 
God loves you. He desires more for you. He has a purpose and a plan for your life. Don't allow yourself to just be somebody's sneaky link, somebody's side chick. Mm -mm. Love yourself more. Love yourself more. We have to love ourselves to walk away from the things that are not serving us, even if you may love that thing or that person. Love yourself more. All right, that's all I got. It's 2 o'clock. I got to go. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Bye.